Hey guys, today I'm working with a Kenmore washer and Whirlpool electric dryer set. And right now I've got this guy filling up. <clears throat> Just wanted to give you a quick video tour because a washer gets a 28 point inspection. Everything electrical, mechanical, it all gets checked and everything has to test out and work perfectly before it gets listed up for sale or before it leaves my care. The dryer gets a 22 point inspection, same thing, electrical, mechanical, the entire heating element. Uh, components and all of that. Everything gets checked. Timer switches, <clears throat> lid switches, everything. And right now I've got it filling up. I just want to show you the basics on it real quick so that you know everything works on it. Um, that's how I like to shop uh, and spend my money. So that's how I like to list my items up here for sale. You can see it's filling up with water. And I've got some bleach and soap and uh, some detergents in there. I always run a final cleansing load through. And normally I do this with clothes, but I already moved through that load, so this is the final cleansing load here. So I'm gonna show you on this one that everything works perfect here. Uh, I'm gonna allow it to go through this full heavy duty cleaning cycle. And uh, I'll show you, obviously it's filling up with water, show you that it drains the water, and that it's got a nice, fast, smooth, final spin cycle. Then we'll move over to the dryer and show you that everything works perfect there, that it heats correctly and everything is good to go. So um, I try to keep these videos short so we'll allow it to move through and I'll just kind of come back and show you as it goes along and we'll switch over to the dryer. All right, so it's filled all the way up with water now and it is running agitation cycle. I don't know if you can even really hear it, it's pretty quiet. Open it up, stick this in to trip the lid switch. Now when there's clothes in here, that agitator obviously doesn't move that fast. The agitator, you can see, is moving in one direction. Should not be able to move it back the other direction. Now, if you can uh, freely spin this in both directions, then this would be broken, and you'd want to replace some of the parts down inside of it. Just a little tip I like to give people, but when it has the clothes in there, it agitates in this motion here. And it trips, and it won't go back this other way, so... Of course, this can come off. You can clean out your fabric uh, softener and all that. But little tip I like to give on the agitator. Otherwise, you know that lid switch works now too, which is a great safety feature. So we'll come back for the draining and the spinning. All right, just switched out of washing mode. It's about to switch over to rinse, which is uh, it'll drain first. Here, kick in there, and you can hear it draining the water out. Nice and fast. And that's moving into the rinse cycle. So we'll come back for that final spin. All right, final spin cycle now. Just finished draining out all the rinse water. And it should be up to about full speed. So we'll go ahead and lift it up. You'll be able to see it spinning nice and fast. The lid switch will kick in and shut it down. Well, there you go. From here, we'll go ahead and move on to the dryer and show you that that works perfectly. All right, guys, now we've got the Whirlpool electric dryer running, if you can hear it. It's a nice, smooth operation. Sounds great. I'll show you. Nice bright lights, nice clean. Let's start it back up. Got it on just high heat, time dry. Of course, there's auto dry and then an air fluff on there as well. And I'm going to show you with my heat gun here, right in between those two red dots, it's going to take a surface temperature measurement, kind of show you the difference between the floor and the top and side of the machine there. So we'll go ahead and point it right inside here, right inside that heating element tube. You can see there's plenty of heat coming out of there. Go ahead and snap a picture there. And so essentially, this tube can get pretty hot, almost up to 350 degrees. You can see a little discoloration there. Even that's because right out of this tube, right behind here is your heating element, comes up out of this tube. And then the inside of your dryer is gonna heat up anywhere from about 95 up to 195. And I've had this running for about five minutes. So you can see there, it's nice and warm on the inside. And how hot that gets, that's going to depend on what you have your setting on. So, like I said, time dry, high heat, you've got wrinkle shield, and then you've also got a cycle signal here as well. So, tons of options. Lead trap right there. Of course, we go through and touch up even the littlest things here, make everything look brand new. So, check that out in the pictures. 
you'll see everything's bright white and uh, touched up. Everything's in like new condition again. So we'll go ahead and get these listed up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks and have a great day.